Hi, I'm Lai, life coach and hypnotherapist. What if I could tell you how to help someone through depression in 30 seconds? Would you be interested? I invite you to think about the last time you spoke to someone you know who experiences depression and listen to some of these well-meaning statements that you could have said or heard someone say. It'll be okay, just. Or try not to think about it. Cheer up, it's not as bad as you think. Get some exercise. Go outside. See someone about it. Now, these are well-intentioned and true. However, typically, they can be unhelpful. You see, when someone experiences bouts of depression, they sometimes don't need to hear advice or pointers or solutions. And what I want to share with you in 30 seconds is a very quick technique which has three steps. Step one, acknowledge their experience by being present. You see, when we can simply be present and hold space for this person, it validates what they are experiencing. Step two, listen without judgment or interference. And you can easily do this by saying, I hear you and pause to listen because often depression can distort perception and listening is such a priceless gift to offer. Step three, find out what they need, not what you think they need. And to do this, ask, what do you need right now? And how can I support you? Allow them to process what they are experiencing. And by doing this, you're empowering them to find a solution. Of course, they may ask you for specific help or advice. Then you can gently and graciously challenge their thinking and offer suggestions if you think that would be helpful. Sometimes it could be that they need to cry. And if so, being present for them creates that space to let them release because feelings need to be felt in a safe environment until they're processed. It's far better than burying them alive inside and being triggered later on. I hope this has helped you to rethink about how you can best support someone who is experiencing depression by creating space for them to feel the freedom and safety to express and process what they are experiencing. And remember, you don't have to be there physically. You can be present from afar and it could be the most helpful thing you do. And it goes without saying, if you are able to be physically present, a good hug fills a gap between loneliness and belonging. And it triggers oxytocin along with other happy hormones. It really is so comforting and very therapeutic. If this has been of value, please let me know in the comments how this has helped you so that I can keep doing all these tips to help you and those people that you love.